Hello there, this is Mary DeMuth, and this is Pray Every Day, where I pray through the Bible verse by verse. So excited to have you here with me today. Grateful for your um, your patronage, for those of you who are Patreons, and just thank you for taking the time every day to listen to Scripture and to be prayed for. Today we're in Acts chapter 2, verses 37 through 41, and this is in the English Standard Version of the Bible. This is what it says. Now remember where we are in Acts. So Peter, uh, they had the Holy Spirit um, fall upon them, and they spoke in tongues and spoke of the mighty acts of God, and people thought they were either crazy or they were just wondering, and Peter said, no, it's only 9 o'clock in the morning, and then he preached the gospel, and then he basically said, you crucified the Lord, and I was thinking... as I finished reading that, that people would be mad because he has just said some pretty harsh things about what they did to Jesus. But this is the people's response, which reminds me that when the Holy Spirit is in charge of things, amazing things happen. So this is what it says in the ESV. Now, when they heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, brothers, What shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And with many other words, he bore witness and continued to exhort them, saying, Save yourselves from this crooked generation. So those who received his word were baptized, and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. Mind if I pray for you? Wow, (laughs) that's uh, some kind of revival meeting right there. (laughs) Um, Lord, we, we ask for more. We ask for more revival. We ask for more people to come to know you. We ask that you would give us the boldness of Peter to proclaim your gospel to those who are dying and need to know. Lord, we also proclaim, save us from this crooked generation. It's not hard to look very close, you know, just to look around, look outside our front doors and to see the crookedness of this world, the brokenness, the all the false promises that end in pits of despair. Lord, I think about addictions and how they promise escape and they promise uh, transient joy only to cause us to want more and more and more. It's like uh, it's like Turkish delight from Narnia that you, you think it tastes good at first and then it just gets worse and worse. And that's the bait and switch of Satan. He tries to distract us from you, Lord Jesus, by enticing us with things that look good but they will destroy us. And that's why we live in this crooked generation. And Lord, we cannot save ourselves, but we can cast ourselves upon you, that you will save us. You will save us from this crooked, dark place. Lord, we choose again today to repent, to turn from our wicked ways, to turn from living for ourselves, to turn from our narcissism, to turn from having to have everything our way. to turn from only serving ourselves and to turn toward you, toward servanthood, toward um, a broken and spilled out life for the sake of others, Um, a heart bent toward the gospel and a heart bent toward witnessing of what you've done for us. Lord, we thank you that the promise was not only for the disciples. It says the promise of the Holy Spirit is for you, for your children, and for all who are far off everyone whom the Lord Lord our God calls to himself. This promise of the Holy Spirit is ours today. Generations later, we still have this power of the Holy Spirit. We have the strength of the Holy Spirit. We have the uh, witness of the Holy Spirit. We have the presence of the Holy Spirit, the peace of the Holy Spirit. All of these uh, fruits of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, self-control, These are fruits of the Spirit living within us, empowering us, enabling us to will and to work for your good pleasure. So we rest in that today. Instead of being um, confused or um, wishy-washy on how we feel about our walk with you, we stand today on the truth that as Christ followers, we have the Spirit within us. And we can, because of that, live life with victory and joy and hope. 
Lord, for those who feel victoryless, joyless, and hopeless. Would you supply them right now through the power of the Holy Spirit what they need to endure this day, not just to endure it, but to find joy in the midst of it, to have a gratitude life, a gratitude-based life. Lord, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks so much for listening to Pray Every Day. I pray that uh, you would not be discouraged today. The Lord sees you. He takes note of you. He is the God who sees. He sees when you're um, discouraged, and He will come to the help of those who call on Him. So call on Him in truth, and He will rescue you. He will be with you.